Okay, good morning everyone. I've had a couple of people ask me about the controller uh, in terms of the throttle and mixture. So I thought I'd uh, give an opportunity uh, to show you around that one. I'm also due to take it out as well because I have to adjust the tension or if you like, sorry, the friction uh, on the throttle side. It's just a bit loose so I'm not too happy about that. Um, but, but, he, but here it is. Um, so here is the, the, the throttle and mixture panel. Um, I'll just take some bits off this uh, to show you uh, all about it. So that's a removable lid and that literally just sits on top just so I can get access inside the panel. Um, uh, in terms of what is my design and what is others, so um, I will uh, disclaimer here. So the mixture knob, uh, the throttle knob and these two uh, supports if you like or, or you know, this, the shaft go in, they're all from Thingiverse, uh, but the rest of it uh, is my design. And it's a fairly straightforward design, really. Um, all it is, is two linear potentiometers, you know, inside of a track um, that you can see uh, with an aluminium uh, sh little shaft. I think that's uh, 10 mil um, aluminium shaft, I think, 8 or 10, something like that, um, which gives it that nice brushed look. Uh, and you probably can't see it, but you can probably see it there. That's a little keeper plate. Uh, so there's a keeper plate there with a little cutout on the shaft. Um, so the keeper plate holds the shaft in position. The shaft then just um, you know, protrudes through, and, and I've got it going a reasonable length, and then that's just a cutout where the linear potentiometer's arm comes up, and so then you get your sliding mechanism back and forth. Now, in terms of tension, what I, uh, or sorry, friction, what I've done is uh, on the inside of each of these um, guides, so to speak, I've put um, stripped a strip of felt uh, either side, and then a bit of trial and error, but then progressively reprint these and adjust the width until such time as you get just the right amount of friction feel on it. Um, and so that's worked quite well. Now it did take a few goes of printing these and each time I print one of these takes about half an hour but, but it was worth it. You know, Ultimately I got the right level of friction. Um, well, I did until such time as uh, I put this throttle one in. For some reason the throttle one um, not, not, as, not, not as good as this so I pulled the unit out uh, and I'll reprint this um, and get the right level of friction in here. So that's it. Um, just some cutouts at the bottom there, where obviously where the potentiometer, um, your little you know um, connections come out, and then it's just wired back. And I'll show you this once it's out of the panel uh, in real life. Uh, these little cutouts at the back here, um, they were for backlighting. So I'm able to run backlighting if I wanted to up into the front of the panel. I haven't done this really well, um, even though this front piece here is actually white, um, painted black, and then using wet and dry to, you know, to bring up the white, which is what I've done, and you'll see that on my real panel. Um, when I tried to do it with the back lighting, it just wasn't really consistent. So I mean, to do this properly, um, you know, you probably need to have proper LED embedment and so on. And, That'll be a job for another day. So still get the nice lettering, but it's not backlit. Um, but anyway, fairly simple design, nice and robust, nice and solid, uh, and it's good. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll cut here and I'll take you over to the uh, Fusion 360 model. Oh, good morning everyone, uh, quick little video today, I've got the uh, throttle and mixture panel out at the moment um, and I, uh, only because I need to fix something but I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you that whilst it's out of the panel. Uh, so you've just seen the Fusions 360 model uh, and here it is uh, in reality, these are all 3D printed parts. Um, 
except for the main shaft pieces here, which obviously are aluminium. Um, but uh, yeah, though, so these these bits here were from Thingiverse, um, as was the um, I suppose the, the stands or the you know the little uh, supports piece there. Uh, but the rest of that panel is a custom design by myself. Um, it's nothing flash, uh, just to show you, um, you know, in reality, as I've explained already, um, they're just linear potentiometers uh, that sit into slide rails. Um, and what I've got, you probably can't see it here, but what I've got is um, some felt either side of the channel just to make the sliding mechanism you know, slide a bit easier, as you can see, like that, uh, and also provide a level of friction uh, on it. Um, now, this is why I have this panel out, because the friction that I'm getting on the throttle is a little bit too loose. It works, and it all works what nice, and I get some fine adjustment, but it's just a bit stiffer than this one. So I'm now reprinting uh, a new one um, with a slightly thicker... Um, you know, a base to it, um, and then and then I'll put that in, and then hopefully that'll work fine. I've just printed one now, and this one's too tight, so it's a bit of trial and error. Uh, I'm now just doing another one, which is a little bit um, a little bit narrower, and hopefully that'll fix it. Um, yeah, and really just to secure that, all that is is uh, just a keeper plate on the back here, so the shaft just obviously pokes through. Um, I've got a little small little cutout in the top of the shaft there just for the keeper plate to sit on um, just to hold that in place and then that just this obviously cut out here which just sits on, directly on top of the potentiometer uh, arm that pokes up uh, and that's it yeah um, so nothing else really so it's a fairly straightforward design uh, if I can excuse the camera work but if I can show you underneath um, you know that's just the you know, this is terrible camera work sorry about this um, that's just the wiring there, and then just held down with some heavy duty tape to make sure they don't get pulled out. Um, and then obviously wired through to the back uh, of the sim. Um, so that's it. Yeah, look again, um, if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, take care and bye for now.